You ready? <clears throat> the Committee on Oversight and Accountability will come to order, and I want to welcome everyone. Without objection, the Chair may declare a recess at any time. I now recognize myself for the purpose of making an opening statement. Madam Secretary, I want to thank you uh, for being here today before the, the committee. Our oversight hearings have examined a range of topics, including energy efficiency standards, critical minerals, nuclear energy, and the administration's ban on liquefied natural gas export permits to non-free trade agreement countries. Today, we are joined by the Honorable Jennifer Granholm, who was sworn into office on February 25, 2021, as the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Energy. Pursuant to Committee Rule 9G, the witness will please stand and raise her right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony that you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Let the record show that the witness answered in the affirmative, and thank you. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Chairman Comer, Ranking Member Raskin, and members of the committee. I'm so proud to be here representing more than 100,000 talented, hardworking public servants who make up the Department of Energy. Chair, and I recognize Mr. Burchett from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What is the responsibility of the Federal Protective Services within the, the Nuclear Security Administration? Uh, are you talking about transporting uh, fuels? No, ma'am. I, I want you to speak. Uh, well, I was going to follow up with uh, the numerous reports by the uh, Federal Protective Services officers describing the suspicious occurrences of UAPs over nuclear facilities. Oh. Um, let me just say the Defense Department has said there is no evidence of um, UFOs, et cetera, or aliens in the United States. However, at those sites, there may be drones that may be uh, nefarious. And so we are definitely looking at that um, and making sure that our national security sites are protected. We have a whole program related to counter countering um, drones that may be coming okay. from Okay. Well, this isn't about drones, and this is prior to drones even. Um, what protocols do, does the Department of Energy have for reporting and responding to any UAP sightings near nuclear infrastructure? And people joke about this, but uh, I get a lot of questions about this concerning this and about this hearing today from my constituents, so I would appreciate you answering that if there are any protocols. Well, certainly there are protocols whenever we see anything unusual around our nuclear sites or our national security sites writ large. Okay. I really wish we had a little more time, and I wish you would show up when we ask you to. I think that shows a lot of arrogance, and Tennesseans are reminded of this leadership every time they go to the pump. And you, should, you all should be ashamed, I think, for your lack of accountability to Congress by not showing up when you're asked. And you were, oh, we had to threaten you with a subpoena just to get you all here. So I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman yields back. Chair recognizes Ms. Luna from Florida. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Secretary Granholm, earlier when Representative Burchett asked you about some UAP stuff, you said that the DOD essentially had denied any existence of that, and you referred to them as drones, correct? It's my understanding that the Department of Defense has looked at okay. this and issued a report about it. Um, I have a lot of questions, so just quick and concise, if possible. Um, there have been persistent claims and reports, including those from credible whistleblowers to this committee, suggesting that the U.S. government, potentially including the Department of Energy, has been involved in reverse engineering technologies recovered from UAP. For example, the Pentagon's proposed Kona Blue program aimed at reverse engineering such technologies, although it was ultimately not established. Can you clarify whether the Department of Energy has been involved in any such efforts, or, uh, either historically or currently, to analyze reverse engineering materials from related to UAPs? I have no knowledge of that. Okay. Um, there are several reports indicated frequent drone incursions over DOE nuclear facilities, including an incident on April 1st, 2021, at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, um, also known as LLNL. Can you detail the DOE's current secretary um, security measures to prevent unauthorized drone activities or UAPs, and what steps are being taken to enhance these measures of frequencies of incidences? Yeah, we have a we have a whole counter drone uh, effort to make sure that all of our national security sites and our labs are protected from uh, incursions from, from um, uh, drones, I'll just say, that are not authorized. So there's a whole series of protocols, uh, probably not uh, ripe for discussion in this public setting. 
Correct. Um, so I reviewed some unclassified materials from around the 40s and 50s, and so they weren't just being reported as drones back then, and I encourage you to look over those materials because I think that you guys should be upgrading that program to cover down on UAPs. Um, there have been documented sightings of metallic spheres over DOE facilities, if you want to call them drones in this instance, such as one report on April 30th, 2019 over L um, LLNL. What investigations have been conducted in regards to these sightings, and what conclusions do you guys have about the nature and, and, nature and origin of these objects. I'm happy to follow up with you on that. Okay, we'll be submitting also too for public records some questions after this, if you could please answer those. Considering the DOE's involvement in nuclear and sensitive research facilities, how does the DOE coordinate with agencies like the Department of Defense and Aero to investigate UAP sightings? We are part of, we obviously are teamed with the Department of Defense because of our national security and nuclear mission. Are, are you able to cite any specific investigations or shared uh, data analysis efforts. I don't have information on that. Okay. Um, as of right now, again, we'll be submitting some questions for you after this, but I hope that you guys can answer those in a timely fashion. And again, for those that might be tuning into this, I would encourage you to look at some of those unclassified materials, and we'll be happy to provide your office with that. Um, I'll just follow up by one other um, question, I guess, to close it out. Does the DOE currently work with JSOC in order to handle security measures? We uh, work with all of the security entities around the federal government. We are part of uh, a, 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 an overall all-of-government effort on both cyber as well as uh, national security. Do you guys work with JSOC? Yes or no? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. I yield the rest of my time, Chairman. Would the gentleman yield your remaining time?